first thing you want to remember when you're looking at a stick choice is it's uh, it's a personal thing. And what you're going to find with each goaltender is they're going to choose a stick that they believe helps them. And what, in a lot of instances, you're going to find uh, kids who are still playing with wooden sticks. You're going to find kids who are playing with the plastic field lacrosse stick. And you're going to find other kids who have now moved on to the wall. Um, what you want to look at in sticks is what's it going to do for you. Um, you're going to want to look at balance. You're going to want to look at uh, ability to throw. You're going to want to look at uh, uh, the weight. The key here is to remember whatever you think you're going to gain from one stick, either be it size or speed or something, you're going to lose something else. You're either going to create openings or you're going to not have abilities to do things. Uh, overall, what I've seen is the, the larger the stick, the more difficult the passing. Uh, what I've noticed with the smaller stick is, yeah, it does create some openings, but uh, for me personally, I find that it, it allows you to have the quickness, which is what I want. So, stick choice is an individual play. The first, the first, time, the first types of sticks that come out with the wooden sticks, obviously. This is my Etienne from 1983. It's a classic, boys and girls. It's a collector's item. Um, what I liked about them, this was a mixed stick. They used to just have leather when they started, but the mixed sticks started using the nylon. And what it did, it would eat the shots. As bad as it looks, set up on that, put it between your legs. It's designed to cover the hole between your legs, much more than this one. Do you see how it's slightly offset on the right-hand side? That took care of that problem I was saying. You can get that whole stick over. You can actually set up again. You can actually lean this leg in, lean this, and, and it takes that whole side away too. I like them. I mean, they got outdated because they break and they're expensive made of wood, but I like them. It took me a while to move to the next stick. What I did with this one too, I added the shooting strings again on this stick, but I'll talk about them in a second. These sticks here, what I liked and didn't like about these sticks, first of all, these were field hockey sticks that were readapted. The problem with the field hockey sticks, they were made so you could clean them. So all the strings were a very hard string, you could dip it in water and keep on going. The problem with these sticks is that they got, they were so tight that they have to have the big bag, right? You see all these goalies with the great big deep sticks. Well, by reworking the stick, I moved from this type of string to hockey laces. Hockey laces have a lot of give in them. I'm able to rework the stick, which we've done in the CLA website, and all you got to do is take one out and follow it around. I put in the shooting strings as we discussed, and as you can see, do we have a ball there, guys? Just one. <laughs> Try it again. Thank you. Put it up. Can you hold that up for him so sideways? One ball deep. I bet your sticks are deeper than that. But because of the, using the skate laces, it absorbs all the shots. It'll take the energy out of the shot, but it also gives me a, a stick to pass with. As you can see with this stick, what I've done, I put in the shooting strings that I can adjust two strings right here. I can untie that, loosen or tighten that pocket. I can do it standing in the middle of a game. The other weave I use, as I told you, with the, it's called the New West weave is what I call it, after the guy who showed it to me. And what it does is creates my pocket that doesn't change and allows me to have a passing stick superior to anything I've ever used. So I've gotten used to this stick. I've also set it up. Can you set up with that and the knob? I'll point that out. I used the knob on it. Bend your knees, break down. You can see where it helps me keep my shoulder square. It helps me set up. I'm balanced, my toes are pointed, and I know where my stick is. If you reach below the knob and go right to the floor, you see how that shoulder dips? So by having a knob on your stick, it helps you set up what you're doing, okay? And again, that's covered in the CLA website. It also means how many times have you watched goalies 
move up and down their stick trying to find the handle during a game. They're not sure where their hand is. I'm trying to save a split second, a split second, so I can make a move. So every time I come into this stick, whether I'm passing the ball or whatever with this particular stick, the way I've got it worked in now, every time I'm doing, I pass the ball, I come back. You see how quick I'm set up to go? I know exactly where I am, just by that knob on this stick. And it's also set up to help my hand come into it. Most guys put it like around. You actually make the knob to be a V. So it comes in and you got a nice tight grip. You got a nice tight grip on the stick. That's another problem with guys. Sticks rolling over. Okay? So this stick came out. I like these sticks. A little small, but I make up for it in quickness. The other thing I've done with it, I don't know if you guys have done this with your sticks, is balance your stick. Why do you balance the stick? What you'll find, it works back to uh, grade four, geometry, science. What's this look like, a teeter-totter? This is called the full crumb. And the reason for the fulcrum is when I push down, I get equal or similar energy going up because it's on the fulcrum. Now what happens is when I'm up here with my stick, as soon as I do this and it goes past the balance point, the head will pull it down and pull it up. It actually helps me move it up and down. It helps me go up quicker because if I just had the head heavy, I'd have to lift it there. All I got to do is change the balance point and the stick goes there by itself. Now with shooters, same difference guys, it'll take up, pick up your speed. As soon as you're pulling down, this, all this energy stored because of the balance on that point is gonna, gonna go to the head. So you might be able to pick up speed on your shot by balancing your stick to where you want it. Mine is balanced to just where I throw, okay? How do you balance it? All sorts of weight, and knobs and such. So I like that stick, a lot of potential. And then we move to this stick. Now I, thank you, again what I did was I rejigged it with hockey laces. I added my shooter pocket. As Mr. Rockies pointed out, one ball deep if that. <laughs> But the beauty of this, again, my pocket's up front. I can tighten or loosen my pocket with two strings at the back. This was, a, this was an, a real art form to get this one done. I balanced my stick. The head heavy stick, in this instance, was Rocky set up, Rock. I noticed last year playing a couple of times, they got over. It brings goalies over their stick. The weight, the head weight, which is why if it's balanced again, I can, as soon as I do this, the weight in the back end pulls the top end up. Why? What's this called again? The fulcrum? The fulcrum helps to move that stick to, to the top. So I can play with it here. Again, I've got my hand hold. I know where I'm at. I can get down on the floor quicker than you can throw it there. But I also got this stick, I can move it here. Look how much I'm taking away. I haven't used this one in battle yet. I don't know if everything would work out like that. I gotta believe this stick is gonna perform as good as this one, the fact that we've balanced it up. It's a little heavier, but I think it's six of one and a half a dozen the other. The head on that is heavy, so you gotta work as hard. I think balancing the stick up gives you an advantage, okay? So, to each their own. Rocky, let's, how deep's your pocket? Here. That two or three balls deep. And his is at the back. But see, Rocky's got a hook in this and he doesn't know it, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> these balls, these sticks are so big that the ball sits down here. When you go to throw it, by the time it reaches the top of the arc, right, what happens is the ball still hasn't got to the top. So what guys are doing, 
a lot of this. There's no strength to it. You saw me, who was I playing catch with? You saw how much snap I had in my passes? I passed him as faster, faster than he was passing to me. Those balls should be going down the floor as fast as that. When you have the ability to pass the ball, you stretch the floor, you reduce your shots by 20% because the defensemen are always backing up. You don't have them in tight on top of you. So you want to have a stick where that ball is coming out. As you reach here, the ball is coming out. The only way he, he can keep that pocket and do that, if he puts a shooter at the bottom here across, you can still have the depth. But it moves the pocket from the bottom to the top. Just a consideration. Every goalie's different. Some goalies like to sidearm this, and it, it another kid out in New West I saw one day who was outstanding with this stick. I told him he'd have to teach me how to throw because I couldn't throw it. I was one of the guys from last year. But, so you have to adapt to your stick and figure out what your needs are, even as shooters. You guys don't mess with your sticks enough. 